What do you think? Shooting darts, skating on a ramp, throwing a ball, and fishes jumping over the water surface all have in common. At first you might not find any correlation, but all of these actions are linked by mathematical relations. The motion tracing a parabolic arc. In math, physics and other disciplines as well, we can represent algebraic relations coming from concrete problems with graphics. Graphic representation has the advantage of allowing visualization, analysis, interpretation and variation of a mathematical expression when the variables have different values. But what is a parabola? Apollonius from Perga, a Greek geometer and astronomer, in his most important work named Konica, introduces parabola as a new term and presents numerous properties of it. In general, a function like where a, b, c are real numbers and a is different than zero can also be written as relation in which is the discriminator of the equation. This form is named the canonic form of function f and allows finding the multitude of values for function and the maximum and minimum values of the function. The justification for this is if a is less than zero, we have and the function has the maximum value of obtained for if a larger than zero, we have and the function has the minimum value of we see that the graphic of the function where a, b, c are real numbers and a is different than zero is geometrical representation of the graphic of the function where a, b, c are real numbers and a is different than zero in the axis system x, o, y is called parabola. Point is called the peak of the parabola. We calculate the parabola's peak coordinates using the formulas. Let's study the parabola's intersection with coordinate axes OX and OY. Solving implies three distinct cases. If delta is larger than zero, the equation has two distinct real solutions. X1 is different than X2, and the graphic intersects the OX in and. If delta equals zero, the equation has two equal solutions, and the graphic intersects the OX axis in if delta is less than zero, we have meaning the equation does not have any real solutions and the graphic does not intersect the OX axis. We see that therefore the graphic of the function will intersect the OX axis in the graphic has a symmetry axis the line of equation parallel with the OX axis. We see that relation in which X1 and X2 are solutions for the equation so the symmetry axis include the points of coordinates, the sign of the function, where a, b, c are real numbers and a is different than zero, depends on the coefficient of x squared, because the expression can also be written in the equivalent form of relation in which x1 and x2 are the equation solutions. If delta is larger than zero, the expression will have a different sign from a for any real number, the same sign as a for any real number. If delta equals zero, the expression will have the same sign as a for any real number x because if delta is less than zero, the expression will have the same sign as a for any real number x because monotony intervals for where a, b, c are real numbers and a is different than zero, in the variation table of function f, the monotony of the function is indicated by arrows. If a is larger than zero, the function f is strictly descending on and strictly ascending on. If a is less than zero, the function f is strictly ascending on the interval and strictly descending on the interval. Here's an example from physics which uses the properties of the function where a, b, c are real numbers and a is different than zero. If we throw an object upwards vertically, the law 
indicates the height in meters where the object is located after t seconds. By drawing the graphic or using the formulas for finding the peak of the parabola, we will find the maximum height of the object we'll reach. If the throw of the object is done following the rule, we see that the maximum height of 4 meters is reached after 2 seconds.